You must be delighted, Paul, with a regulation 2 0 win. Yeah, it was, a, it was an excellent win for us. Um, performance wise, Russ, we. I don't really think we got out of second gear to be honest in terms of what we can what we can do. Um, first half, I've, you know, we, we've got to give the boys credit. We kicked into a strong wind, uh, which died down in the second half. But half time, we galvanised them. We, we we gave them a little impetus, and, and you know, we could have scored more than the two goals. And I think the pleasing thing was we. I don't think we we realistically, like I say, got out of second gear. And I, I thought our performance was wasn't as good as it has been of late. Cracking goal, training ground move that put us on our way. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, we, we try and work on them. We, you know, it's, it's it's something that every club does. Uh, the pleasing thing when it comes off is it, it, it's nice. Um, I thought, you know, say, I thought overall um, performance we, we can totally improve on. But it's a results-based business, and uh, we've we've gone and got a, a result against a team that were football league club last year. Yes, yeah, so two 0 and up to third. Yeah, like I say, people keep telling me I, I don't look at the table. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna change, um, you know, my view on that. Um, doesn't matter to me. I'll have a look at Christmas time. Awful lot of football to be played, in, you know, till then. And uh, but the pleasing thing about these these boys, we had a few below par performances today, and there was a few performances that went by players that went above and beyond what we asked them to do today, and they dragged some of the lads through. Um, and that was what was pleasing because, like I said, I don't think performance wise it was brilliant, results wise, over the moon with it. So now we've got a Forest Green in what looks like a cracking game next Saturday. Yeah, they're coming thick and fast. Um, there's a, an inner belief about the football club. We had a fantastic meeting last night with, with you know, the, the staff, people who were working extremely hard behind the scenes, uh, to, to, that, that probably are not recognised sometimes. and I think, every, I think the pleasing thing was is that there's a lot of hard work going on behind the scenes to, to build this football club. Um, and what's pleasing is we're all putting a, a few smiles on people's faces uh, and long may it continue because, you know, as we said last night, we want to enjoy it, um, we want to embrace the feel-good factor uh, and want to let it last as long as we can. You've gone out this week and brought in Harry Panio too. Uh, tell us a bit about him. Uh, well, I've had a few supporters come up to me and question the Borussia Dortmund rumour. Um, it's fact, Borussia Dortmund wanted to sign him for their under-23s. The lad is a very mentally tough kid, um, wants to play men's football. Um, I get along with the kid, with his dad, with, you know, with, with, his, with, his, um, with his family really well. And uh, I think the lad wants to come and play first-team football. He needs conditioning, uh, he needs a little bit of uh, fitness, uh, game time. Uh, but when we've gone that, we've, we've got an excellent addition to our squad. Thank you very much. Thank you.